All right, ladies and gentlemen, section 4.3 of the study guide, factoring quadratics of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So all of these, the a value in front of the x squared is a 1. All right, here we go. So we're going to factor, and then we're going to find the intercepts using the rule of zero products. All right, so let's factor this. So factors of 35 that will add up to negative 12. Well, let's see, 5 and 7 make 35, but that's a negative 12, so it's got to be negative 5 and negative 7. All right, so x minus 5 and x minus 7. Now remember, this has to equal 0 in order to factor it. All right, well, now the zero product property says what makes x minus 5 equal 0 and what makes x minus 7 equal 0. Well, that would be positive 5. and positive 7. Now, it does not say that we need to write these as uh, ordered pairs, so x equals 5, 7. All right, the next one, put a little star by this one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this one is often missed on the uh, test. So in this one, the c value is missing, so when that happens, we're just going to pull out the GCF. When we do that, it will be factored. So the GCF here is x. What's left? x plus 3 is on the inside, and it equals 0. Now, when x is by itself like that, ladies and gentlemen, that means that it is 0. 0 times anything is 0. And then what makes the x plus 3 equal 0? Well, that would be negative 3. That's it. We're done. Number 19, all right, so factors of negative 48 that add up to negative 2. Well, 6 and 8 make 48, and since that's a negative 2, we'd have to have negative 8 and positive 6. They add up to negative 2, and they multiply and give us negative 48. So we have x minus 8 and x plus 6, that equals 0. So that means the x-intercepts are x equals positive 8, negative 6. Number 20. Factors of negative 12 that give us positive 7. Well, let's think about this. I know my factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. But in order for this to be negative, one of them has to be negative, but they have to add up to 12. Nope, I don't think so. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, this is not factorable. We could not find two values that multiply to negative 12 and add to 7 at the same time. All right, 21. So let's see here. We've got x squared plus 121. Ah, okay, well, there's only two terms, and in order to factor that, ladies and gentlemen, it would need to be a minus sign. So it's not, it's a plus sign. So again, we run into one that is 
not factorable. All right, number 22, however, there is a minus sign in between them. And this is a difference of two squares. <clears throat> Okay, when we run into a difference of two squares, we just square root. So the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 225 is 15. One factor will be a plus sign, the other factor will be a minus sign because when we do the FOIL, the outside and inside, those middle terms would cancel each other out. So x equals positive and negative 15. You need both of those. All right, last two for this section. The section's pretty short. All right, factoring this one. So factors of 49. That will give us negative 14. Okay, well that's hopefully obvious. Negative seven and negative seven. So we've got x minus seven times x minus seven equals zero. Please remember that could be written as x minus seven squared. That means there's only one and that would be x equals seven. Same thing with the next one, factors of 100 that give us 20. Well, that would be 10 and 10. So x plus 10 and x plus 10, which again can be written as x plus 10 squared. So there's only one x-intercept on this one, and that would be 10, negative 10. All right, that's it for section 4.3.